So I just recently attended the Southwest Audio Fest. I had a great time and heard a ton of cool systems. One company's products I saw being used over and over again was Orchard Audio. This piqued my curiosity as I'd heard of the brand before but didn't know much about them. After doing some research, it turns out that they cater to both retail and DIY markets. After speaking with them, they agreed to send out a DAC to build for review. This is not a paid review of any sort and I have no affiliation with the brand. Everything I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions. For the DIY side, they offer complete kits with a DAC and streamer combo along with the chassis. For this video, I'll be using the standalone DAC and building my own chassis. I'll include listening impressions and a review towards the end of the video. For the enclosure, I'm planning to keep things simple. I'll use a traditional clamshell style to ensure easy access to the board and terminals in the future. I'll be using lightweight half inch plywood to keep the weight down and provide strength.
So first I'll cover some of the technical advantages I like about the DAC. In my current setup, I run an Emotiva preamp and power amp for my mains, and a Crown XLS 2002 for my subwoofers. I've always had to overcome the fact that the Crown needs XLR inputs for full output capability. The issue being that my preamp only has RCA outputs. To accomplish this in the past, I've had to use an RCA to XLR converter. This adds a ton of extra wire to my setup and makes a mess of things. With the Pecan Pi, I can eliminate my preamp altogether. You get volume control and XLR and RCA outputs that are active at the same time. This means I can feed the Pecan Pi directly into my power amps. I don't personally miss my preamp remote as I tend to listen to complete albums. This means I rarely get up to change tracks or adjust the volume. On the subject of volume, the Pecan Pi has a ton of headroom. I've not needed to move the volume control above a quarter way up. It supplies plenty of power to the crown as well. For my subjective thoughts on the sound of this DAC, I'll first need to pick my jaw up off the floor. Okay, so this has been the single biggest improvement in my system in some time. The difference between the Pecan Pi and my Emotiva PT1 is immediately obvious. The sound stage is much deeper, larger, and defined. The tonality is very neutral in my setup. Bass is nice and punchy, and the top end is crystal clear. I'm hearing details to this point I've only heard with headphones. All of the detail and energy in the music makes it an overall more engaging experience. This thing really puts a smile on my face. Listening to well-recorded albums like The Nightfly by Donald Fagan is like a whole new experience. You really get a sense of the layering of instruments. Donald's vocals are deep and rich and lifelike. The ambience on Dire Straits' album Brother in Arms is unreal. The soundstage is so deep that you really do feel enveloped in it. This will undoubtedly remain my reference DAC. 
There's peace of mind knowing that my future speaker builds will be fed a proper signal to produce. I'm really happy with how this build turned out. The engineers at Orchard Audio really hit a home run with this one. Thank you to Orchard for sending this out. Thank you to everyone for watching. I've got a speaker build coming very soon that you don't want to miss. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. DIY audio is all we do on this channel. I'll see you all in the next build. Bye.